Hello friends, thank you so much for your valuable time and your interest in this topic. In this video, we will try to simplify and understand the meaning of various terminology often used in sampling. And they are sample, sampling unit and sampling frame. To start with, for conducting any research study and to arrive at conclusion, data collection is a significant part of the research. So data will be collected either from the entire population or just a fraction of the population. So with this short background, we will first see what is sampling in research. Sampling is when only a fraction of the population is studied instead of the entire population and the information derived from the fraction of population subjected to study will give us a general idea or conclusion about the population characteristics. So therefore, sampling is a procedure of obtaining information about the given population by studying the fraction or part of the population. Okay. However, within the sampling, there are different terminology often used in which students tend to be confused with from time to time. And these terms are sample, sampling unit, sampling frame, sampling size, and sampling procedures. In this video, we are going to focus on what is a sample, sampling unit, and sampling frame. For sampling size, we will do a separate video later on. However, with regard to sampling procedure or sampling design, we have uploaded a video earlier on this. So if you are interested, you can kindly check it too. Okay. So to understand this terminology, let us use an example, okay? Let's say the researcher is interested in finding the effectiveness of online class on students' learning. Okay. However, for your information, remember that this example is hypothetical and is used just to get a clear uh, cut understanding about the terminology we are interested to learn about. Our priority is not on the results of the study. Okay, so for conducting this study, the target population will be the student population, right? Now let's assume that there are 1000 students, okay? And all the students are placed within this green rectangle box here, okay? So therefore, these 1000 students will represent the student population, all right? So from here, we will first try to understand what is a sample. So from the student population of 1,000, collection of data from each and every student in the population might not be possible. Therefore, in such a situation, only few students are selected. Let's say 100 students are selected out of 1,000. So these 100 selected students will represent the student population and these are referred to as the sample. So therefore, a sample is a subset or a fraction of the population okay next we will see or try to understand what is a sampling unit so similarly from the students of a population of 1000 100 will be selected at the sample so within the samples when you consider each and every element or individuals of the sample in the population then we are referring as to the sampling unit that is all the students okay all the students one by one right from one to hundred constitute the sampling unit all right now let's see what is a sampling frame for easy understanding of a sampling frame let's say in our study to find the effectiveness of online classes on students learning we divide the students population into four different subpopulation subpopulation one two three four based on the level of education primary level secondary level undergraduate and postgraduate okay so out of the four subpopulation okay, out of this four subpopulation let's say the researcher will select two out of four for sample collection let's say the selected uh, the selected subpopulation will be the subpopulation three and subpopulation four so in this case, 
the subpopulation from where the researcher decided to collect his sample from is referred to as the sampling frame. So in this example, there will be two sampling frame. Sampling frame one will be this and sampling frame, uh, sampling frame two will be this. Okay. Now from each sampling frame, the researcher will select the samples that will represent the respective subpopulation. Okay, so by definition, sampling frame is referred to as the list of all the items or the elements that are present in the population from which samples will be selected. However, the selected sampling frame should represent the population because if not, the results will be biased and inaccurate. So these are the references that I use in this presentation. And with this, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you so much for your attention. And I hope uh, this video will be of help to you and you'll understand the difference between sample, sampling unit, and sampling frame. Once again, thank you so much and God blessed.